Yo, what's up guys? What is going on? Zach or Immortal here. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by once again. As always, today we're jumping back into the world of Call of Duty World War 2 to see if you guys can spot the difference in two nearly identical pictures. So, as you guys probably know, just the other day, a brand new campaign trailer was released for Call of Duty World War 2. I think it's safe to say that the hype train is going at an all-time top speed. Everyone is jumping on this hype train. It is flying right now. We are so, so close to the launch of of Call of Duty World War 2 in just a couple of days actually we're gonna have the official open PC beta and then it's only about a month until we actually get our hands on the game so it is coming around the corner very very fast hype train is full steam ahead I don't know if you guys are on it but I sure am and I am so so excited so let's go ahead and let's take a look at these two pictures and you guys can see I've got two black boxes over what is some text there I want you guys to comment down in the comment section right now which picture do you think is the old Old version of Call of Duty World War 2 and which which picture do you guys think is the new version of Call of Duty World War 2 make sure you're typing those comments out right now I'm gonna release those black boxes right now and you guys can see the top picture is what Call of Duty World War 2 originally looked like it is the old version and the bottom picture is Call of Duty World War 2 and how it looks right now in the quote-unquote new version so let's take a look and see if you guys can spot the differences in these pictures now obviously these pictures are the same image they're of the same character taken from the same point of view with the same backdrop but there are a couple of things that are noticeably different first and foremost the coloring which I think is a little bit interesting now obviously in the older picture of uh, of the World War 2 campaign on the top there the coloring is a lot more dark and I feel like it has sort of a sense of dismay or misery surrounding that picture because of the tone that it's setting with the brightness with the contrast with the saturation now the picture on the bottom the newer picture is actually I guess a little bit more vivid the colors are a little bit lighter and it seems a little bit brighter overall which I think is sort of interesting and uh, where, I, where I actually found this picture over on the World War II subreddit someone actually commented they think that that's a little odd because this was obviously uh, this was D-Day this is on the beaches of Normandy and it, this wasn't sort of a, a bright or a light in tone sort of time this was a very dark um, a very brutal time and I feel like the the darker coloration of the top picture there where everything is a little bit more dreary and grayed out that sort of represents it all a little bit better not to mention I think the top picture the older version of this picture actually looks a little bit more high quality if you ask me in terms of effects I'm not too sure about facial features but I am very certain about the effects you guys can see the raindrops on this guy's helmet I feel like are much more vivid and they stand out a lot more uh, in the in the older picture where the colors are a little bit darker and more dreary compared to the newer picture where it's a little bit lighter and almost more upbeat in a sense uh, I feel like that is definitely uh, a, a plus to the old picture the particles and the different effects there look a lot more realistic to me however I feel like his attire in the newer picture actually looks a lot better and more HD if you would the the clothing that he has on here you guys can see those little patches on his uh, on the front of his shoulder there I feel like they stand out a little bit more and almost look more realistic in the newer picture compared to the older picture where it sort of blends in a little bit more now that might entirely have to do with the color tone there as well don't get me wrong not to mention when we look into the background I feel like it's almost they've changed a little bit either these pictures might have been taken just a split second apart from one another and so the camera was sort of panning a little bit but the boat on the right in the older picture seems like it's a little bit uh, shorter than in the newer picture but like I said that might have just been the exact time when the when the pictures were taken obviously you can still see the smoke in the background however in the newer picture uh, I feel like those little picket fences that are on the bottom there in the background stand out a lot more than in the older picture. In the older picture, you can't really differentiate the ground from when the smoke starts rising. That's all sort of just one dark blob there, right? In the newer picture, obviously, there is a big, big difference, which I think does look a little bit better. But once again, the overall tone of the newer picture, I don't think really fits the time frame in which it's representing and taking place in. But those are the primary differences that I can spot in these two pictures. One of the old version of Call of Duty World War II and one of the new and current version of Call of Duty World War II. If I missed anything, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. I'll be looking forward to seeing what you guys can spot that I might have missed. If you guys are hyped for Call of Duty World War II and if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to slap that like button, give it a big old thumbs up, smash it. It is much appreciated. Shout out to my dog, dual commentary now with the puppy. 
Anyways, uh, that is going to do things for this video. If you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure to subscribe as well as turn on those channel notifications so you can catch every video and live stream that goes up in the future. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.